Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, we got an interesting video for you today. Um, what we're going to start on the homestead is we're going to start, and I need help with uh, naming this. I want to do like a recycled Friday or a dumpster diving Wednesday or something. I, I get a lot of stuff secondhand or free or I repurpose a lot of things that are originally thrown out for scrap and uh i got a good one for you today so this is going to be like episode one of that but uh i need some help with the names i want to do like a dumpster dive on friday or a you know recycled wednesday or something like that but today what i picked up again is uh i picked up this weird contraption let me lower you guys a little bit so you can hopefully see that Anyways, this is some type of crane, some type of rigging stuff I got out of the metal recycling dumpster. But basically, what I want to do with this is I want to make a uh, a choker cable. We're going uh, we're going logging tomorrow, uh, so I need to I want to make some type of choker cable out of this, and I see the potential. So let's go ahead and uh, let's start working on it. So wrenches, wrenches, wrenches. Let's see if we can pop this union up here. Hopefully I have a big enough uh, socket, I sure do. Uh, these things always confuse me, which way they go. There we go. All right, so let's pop this off. So I don't really need this. I could throw this back in the dumpster. I'm gonna keep the, uh, keep the clip though. So it's gonna put that over there. So as you can see, it already has a uh, thimble on it, and it's already braced um, with a whatever machine is from the factory. So that fitting should loosen up. But this is pretty cool. This right here has a. Uh, I've never seen this. This usually you have the uh, the clamp cable clamps with the two nuts and the U bolt. This is a full CNC. It's got three set screws in here first. So this is actually pretty wild. But I don't know if you can tell, but there is. The hook isn't at the very end of the cable, as you can see here. I don't know how well you can see that, but anyways, we're going to loosen this up um, for the sake of Hollywood. I already grabbed a, a correct socket. Oh, Jesus. I can't even tell if those are loosening or if I'm breaking something. No, they're loosening up. I need to get the full length of the choker cable, so even if there's a impression in the cable, that's okay because I need the full length cable, if you know what I'm saying. I'll explain more when uh, we get out and use it downfield. But the reason why I need this is because the firewood lot we're working to, I basically have to drop the trees on a hill and then skid the trees up the hill. So the more I work this lot, uh, the farther and farther naturally the trees get so um, the more cable and rope and chain and stuff I have the better so I think almost there yeah okay we're all right we're loose so what we're gonna do is, is we're gonna find our end we need and we're gonna feed this all the way through and pull this side down again if this breaks or whatever guess what it was free doesn't bother me so we can put that behind us you see what I'm doing here then we're gonna put our thimble back on Uh, that's tight. Um... No. This is the tough part. I need a you know a third hand for this. There we go. Nice. Just like they had it. So let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and tighten this down. 
back to where they had it. And we should be styling. Um, I'll show you guys when I get down range, for lack of better terms. Oh, I'm supposed to tighten the middle one first. It says right on here. Um, this definitely came from overseas. I'll let somebody know. I think that's Italian. Torrentino Squarezo. I don't know. Um, if anybody is a language major or speaks the Italiano, let me know. It looks Italian, but it says on the back side here, um, screw first. So let's screw this down. There's a lot of torque behind this, so we're going to make sure this is probably going to snap. But, okay, that's as tight as they had it, so... I don't foresee this going anywhere, personally, but... Better safe than sorry, you don't want cable or rigging breaking when it's under load, and, you know, that could kill some people. Luckily, I'm a one-man show, but still, I don't want to lose a, lose a limb or anything. Okay, so those are all snug. Now let's see what we got here. We have a pretty decent length of cable here. This will make quite the uh, quite the choker cable. We're actually gonna put this back on. We should be able to. Yes. Okay, we can. So to make a choker cable, obviously these eyelets don't fit between one another, so we're going to keep this on here. And I'll demonstrate more when uh, we get down uh, on the trees, but let's put this on. Let's put this in the vise real quick and tighten it. Okay. Now that it's tight, basically you run the choker cable underneath the tree, and then what happens is, as I pull on this cable, this is going to tighten. This is going to tighten around the tree, like such, and then I'll skid it up the hill. So this is a huge piece of cable. Let's see how far, how long this actually is. Bear with me. No walkie tape. Fifteen feet. So we just extended our towing capability by fifteen feet with this. So um, next video you're gonna see it in action. But let me know what you guys think. Please chime in. I want to know this. This was in the dumpster, metal recycling dumpster. We grabbed it. Now we're gonna make it work. Hopefully it's gonna last a lifetime. But anyways, let me know what you guys think. I need some help on. Uh, Thinking, I think like Recycled Friday or something like that. But uh, let me know what you guys think. I'm Homestead Jay. Thanks for watching. Stand by for some tree falling coming next.